Hello everyone, I'm your host Mariana and you're listening to A Degree Farther, the official podcast of the Graduate School at Hood College, where we feature current students, alumni and faculty who are innovators on our campus and in our community. On the second episode of Spring Semester, we are with Dr. Megan Shane. Dr. Shane graduated from Wesleyan University with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and Government, and she received her Master's and Doctoral Degrees in Counseling from George Washington University. Dr. Shane's research examines experiences of trauma and loss, particularly in military and university populations. Dr. Shane is the co-chair of the Grief Counseling Competencies Task Force through the Association of Adult Aging and Development. And she is the director of the new certificate program in Trauma, Crisis, Grief and Loss. We are so happy to have her here today. And we hope this interview is very, very useful for you. Enjoy it. Hi, Dr. Shane. Thank you so much for being here with us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, um, if you if we can start talking a little bit about your professional background and your role at Hood College. Sure. So I am currently the program director for counseling, as well as the certificates in trauma, crisis, grief and loss, which I know we're going to talk a little bit more about today and thanatology. And I am an associate professor in the, di the Department of Psychology and Counseling, and I've been at Hood College for uh, seven years now. Okay. Um, well, yeah, now that you mentioned the, the trauma certification, uh, we're going to talk about this that today. So if you want to share with us why you start the certification program. Sure. Yeah. So um, as you might know, we already have or already had a certificate in thanatology, a 12 credit certificate program in the study of death and dying um, thanatology studies. And what we were finding was that that certificate was very popular with students and very popular with our counseling students who can take that uh, certificate as part of the counseling program. They can take it as their 12 elective credits within the counseling program. And it's also very popular with students who are not in the counseling program and just wanted to do the certificate. But what we were finding was that a lot of those students were also interested in trauma and crisis intervention, as well as the grief and loss piece. Um, and we actually already had several courses that were related to trauma and crisis intervention. So we thought, why don't we create a new certificate that combines some of that trauma and crisis coursework with the grief and loss coursework from the thanatology certificate? And so what we came up with was a certificate in trauma, crisis, grief and loss that is 12 credits and same thing. It can be taken on its own as a standalone certificate and can also be taken uh, by counseling students in our master's program in counseling as their 12 elective credits. Okay, so like uh, just it's, it's not just for counseling students it's like uh, anybody can apply for this certificate. anybody can apply for it so uh, counseling students certainly can as part of their program but also anybody could apply from the community or who may be taking a different program at hood college uh, can get the standalone certificate in in trauma crisis grief and loss okay that's that's very nice and what is the process to to get admitted in this certification program So you just go to our website and apply through the graduate school. It's a fairly straightforward application process. We have rolling admissions for our certificate program. So um, there's no specific application deadline. Usually when you apply, um, you can get started in the following semester um, to when you apply. So for example, now if students were applying in March, um, if they wanted, they could get started taking courses over the summer. Okay, okay, that's that's very nice. Um, so this is a question more like looking forward after the person the people, the person um finished the program. So how this uh program can help the professionals or or the people that come and take the certification uh to help people that have experienced um traumatic situations or a critical loss. 
Yeah, absolutely. So um, for counselors or other mental health professionals, uh, it is a way to kind of develop a specialization in trauma, crisis, grief, and loss. Uh, so um, our counseling students can do that within the program, but also folks who have already graduated with their master's in counseling or social work or psychology or related fields. Um, could take the certificate to maybe change specialties or add to the specialties that they focus on. Um, and it might help to just say a little bit about the coursework. So the 12 credits are, we have um, our trauma and crisis intervention course, which is kind of like our foundational trauma course. And then we have another three credits of grief and loss. And then we have three credits of either developmental or um, historical and multicultural perspectives on thanatology. So you kind of get that contextual background piece. Um, and then we have three credits of electives. And so what's really cool about that is it really allows um, somebody to tailor the certificate to what they want to do and what they need. So somebody who is a specialist in the field um, and really wants to specialize in this area, you know, may really hone in on some of the more clinical classes that we offer. Um, we offer an introduction to EMDR. We offer an attachment theory class. We offer an introduction to play th uh, therapy class um, that can be taken as part of the certificate. But there are also options that, that are a little bit less clinical um, that like um, it's, to sort of focus on on different areas or different populations that may be better for somebody who is not interested in that clinical path. So it could also be useful for educators, um, for clergy members, for anybody who um, is uh, seeing a lot of trauma and crisis and, and grief coming through their doors. Um, and they can tailor their certificate kind of to their specific needs professionally. Okay. Yeah, because when I was thinking in this certification program, I thought it was only maybe for the people that work in mental health, um, maybe a little bit of education too, but mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that it was like for anybody that could could be interested. So th that's yep, very absolutely. Yeah, I certainly think it's most appropriate for folks in mental health, education, um, in other healthcare settings, um, and clergy members, probably most applicable. But it also could be for somebody who is just really interested in learning about this material and just kind of is a lifelong learner and, and wants to take the course material and see and see where they go with that. Yeah, that's very useful for the community too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, kind of community education as well. That's a good point. Yeah. And the certification program include any practical hours? No, it doesn't. So um, that's a good question to ask um, because our counseling program does um, include quite a big um, practicum and internship um, uh, period that takes three semesters. So the certificate doesn't have that. Um, but it does have several courses that are very experiential and uh, involve some role playing so that you can get a sense of what using some interventions and in trauma and crisis might look like. So the trauma and crisis class has that. Um, the uh, Our introduction to creativity class is very experiential. So you get a lot of practical experience in the courses, but there's no additional field work that's required for the certificate. Okay. Yeah, that's why I ask it, because uh, I know that the counseling program have a lot of practical hours as a requirement. Uh, so, yes. And in these kind of um, certifications that include like this mental health approach to people, um, sometimes it's, it's, it's very useful, these practical skills. So it's very good to know that they have it in the classes and the role games are very useful. So So it's good to know. Like yes, not go absolutely. out and and are like what <laughs> what I'm doing. Yeah. Now. yeah, so we try to make it so that it would be useful. You know, in the trauma and crisis intervention course, for example, I have um, what we what we practice sort of experientially in that class is not like a therapy session. It's more like a very practical skill in crisis intervention. And then we work a little bit with um, some skills that are involved in cognitive processing therapy, which is an evidence-based treatment for trauma. So it, they're very, very practical skills um, that could also be used in an education setting. For example, we may have teachers coming through, you know, who may be interested in taking this certificate. Um, so we try to make those the skills kind of transferable to other fields as well. Okay, that's very interesting and useful. 
So how can people that is interested contact you or um yeah, they or where they can find more information about this certification program? Yeah, anybody is welcome to contact me. The best way to contact me is email, just my last name, S-H-A-I-N-E at hood.edu, Shane at hood.edu. Um, I'm happy to to talk more. Um, there is information on our website about the certificate as well for, for folks who want to read about it. Um, and it's also good for people to keep in mind that a lot of this coursework can be completed online, depending on the courses that you're choosing to take. You may actually be able to take 75% of the certificate online. Um, our Thanatology courses are all completely asynchronous online. So the grief and loss course and your other Thanatology course would be online. So it's at least 50% online and up to 75% online. So that can be really convenient for people as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure people will like that. that yeah, that especially for, easier. yes, especially for working professionals, but also gives them the opportunity to come to campus for part of the certificate as well. Okay, so they can choose uh, or is already like uh, everything is online only? So six of the credits, two of the classes are online only. Uh, and the trauma and crisis class is a hybrid class. So um, about two thirds of it are in person and the rest of it is online. And then the elective classes, it depends on what you choose. Some of them are online and some of them are in person. Oh, okay. That makes that makes everything so much easier for people to choose. Yeah. So you can have some options, What whatever works best for you. Okay. That's good. Is, is there anything else you, you would like to share about the certification program that we didn't talk about? I would just encourage anybody to apply. You know, um, I, I love to tell the story uh, to my students that I actually came into the mental health field through trauma and crisis intervention through my volunteer work at a rape crisis center in D.C. I didn't know that I wanted to be a counselor until I did that volunteer work. I was actually working in public affairs at the time. So, um, you know, if you think you might be interested and you might want to switch careers, it can be a really good way to get started and try it. So I encourage anybody to apply, obviously counseling students, but anybody else who it sounds interesting to. Yeah, it sounds like a very useful and interesting certification program. Thank you so much for sharing all this information with us. I also encourage people to to at least look up, look at it or maybe um, text you and, and ask more information if, if they want to. Yes, um, absolutely. Well, before we finish um, and to close this interview, we would like to know if you want to share with us a fun fact about you. Um, and yeah. Sure. Yeah. So my fun fact is kind of related to, to what I just mentioned, that I actually used to be a journalist and, oh. um, and then worked in public affairs. And one of the jobs I had working in public affairs was at the Embassy of Australia. So I got to work at an embassy in D.C. Uh, many, many years ago. And when I was working at that embassy, I started doing my volunteer work. And that's how I got interested in that trauma and crisis work. Wow, that's very very nice like yeah, you never then, know you never know exactly definitely a career change I mm -hmm. think that that's something very um like nice about uh, this career the counseling career and all this uh, mental health approach and is that people from everywhere can come and is like transversal to any other profession and yeah. it's, it's never too much to learn a little bit about this kind of topics because we all can be involved in in a situation like this so great thank you so much thank you thanks for your time yeah thank you for your time and i'm looking forward to to meet you anytime maybe later <laughs> sounds good right and thank you so much everyone for listening to us today i hope you enjoyed this interview with dr megan shane as much as i did All the information that she gave us is going to be in the caption of this podcast, including her email, in case you have more questions or you want to ask for more information related to this certificate program that looks very, very interesting. Have a good one. Thank you so much for listening to A Degree Further, the official podcast of the Graduate School at Hood College, where we help you go further in your life in your career and in your community. 
Be sure to tune in next time and to catch up on all the latest episodes. Visit hood.edu slash a degree further. I'm your host, Mariana, and thank you so much for listening.